So if it was to one decimal place, we would round after the first decimal place. So we need to cut here. The sixth term I need to round up, so it would become 25.2, the next number. And for the second one, I need to round after the first decimal place, so I need to cut here, and the three terms I need to round down, so I get 413.6. We wanted to round that to two decimal places, then we could imagine we're going to cut it here, and we need to round up because 4 is less than 5, so it's 25.16. Nice and simple that one. The second one, 413.631, again to two decimal places, if I cut it here, then one tells me I need to round down, so it's 413.63. Rounding to significant figures, let's say we wanted to round 1276 to two significant figures, then we need to have one, seven tells me to round up to three, the numbers was a thousands, so I need 1,300. Add zeros for the rest of the number. Let's try that again with a, another big number, 37,684 to two significant figures. So I'm cutting here, so I've got three. Seven becomes eight because the six tells me to round up. And then I need thousand because it's 37,000. Smaller numbers this time, so 0 0.06356. Well, I don't start counting until I hit as number. So the first significant figure is 6, the second one's 3, so I'm cutting here, so it's 0 0.06, and I need to round up to 4. And in this case, I don't have to add any extra zeros. The next one, 0 0.005832, so to two significant figures, I'd be cutting here, so I'd be getting 0 0.00. Five and eight. Okay, standard form or scientific notation. So let's go. Big number first, two, five, three, zero. So the first thing you always write down is a number between one and ten using the numbers I've got. So it's two point five three, always times ten. Then a power. To get the power with this, you just count the number of numbers after the first one. So now words one, two, three to the power of three. Nice and easy. Bigger numbers are quite simple. With smaller numbers, just the same idea. I've got 0 0.000058, so I've got 5.8 times 10 to the power. And I want to imagine this decimal point jumping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So minus 5, not positive minus for numbers that are between 1, 0 and 1. Okay. And we can do calculations with standard form. We'll come back to this later a little bit when we do laws of indices, but very briefly, if I do this sum, I do 1.8 times 3, so you can get a calculator if you want. 3 times 1 is 3, 3x three is 24, so that gives me 5.4 times 10. And to get the power, well, with indices, if the base is the same, you just add the powers. So 8 and 5 make 13. Division works in a similar way, so I divide the numbers, 6.8 divided by 2, that gives me 3.4 times 10. And then you take away the powers, 7 take away 3 is 4. Couple of past paper questions in standard form, so 2016 paper 2, question 2. A pollen sample weighs 12 grams and contains 1.5 times 10 to the 9 pollen grains. Calculate the weight of one pollen grain in grams. Give your answer in scientific notation. So it's asking for the weight of one of the things. So I need to divide by 1.5 times 10 to the 9 to find one of them. So the sum I'm going to do is 12 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 9. And I'll put that in brackets to remind myself that when I get my calculator out, I'll need to use a brackets around it. So that's 12 divided by 1.5 to the power times 10 to the power of 9. That gives me 0 0.00000008. So I just write that down. 0 0.00000008. I have to give my answer in scientific notation or standard form. So I just do that in the same way. 8 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus 9. There are 3 times 10 to the 5 platelets per millilitres of blood. 
On average, a person has 5.5 litres of blood. On average, how many platelets does a person have? Give your answer in scientific notation. So I have to work out how many a person's got in total. I need to times. So I need to do 3 times 10 to the 5 times 5.5 litres. But I need to times that by 1,000 because there's 1,000 millilitres in a litre. 1, 6, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So that equals 1.65 times 10 to the power of 9. 7 zeros plus 6 and 5 make 9.